What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be ranking Marvel MCU movies from Phase 3. Let's get right into this. So today I am pretty excited because I'm ranking Phase 3. I have already went and ranked Phase 1 and Phase 2. And basically I'm doing this because I love the Marvel MCU movies. And to see how far they have come, that's why I wanted to rank the first movies and then go into phase three because phase three is honestly my favorite because of how many new characters were introduced and it's a lot of fun doing these videos so we're just gonna get right into it up first is captain america's civil war this is one of my favorite ones honestly i felt like it could have been titled avengers civil war due to the fact that captain america in my opinion is not the main character that involves so many people in the marvel mcu at this point and the two main characters are Iron Man and Captain America. Um, I can't remember which one wants to do what, but one of them wants to do what the world leaders and the governments want to do, which is basically have them accountable for their actions where they can't do certain things. And the other one wants to do things the way they've always, always done things, which is do things how they see fit to get the job done and to make sure the enemies are no longer a threat so um, there's kind of a backlash between the two and then other people in that Marvel MCU so uh, Black Panther, Spider-Man, Ant-Man, Thor, and Incredible Hulk I think they all basically choose a side and they have a big fight which I thought was amazing because in the MCU it's usually heroes versus villains but in this movie you get to see heroes versus heroes and see the powers versus each other so honestly I thought that was a great touch I thought it was very interesting, the fact that they did that. So I'm going to give it 8 out of 10 because I honestly love this movie. Next up is Doctor Strange, which honestly, at the point that this movie was coming out, I knew nothing about Doctor Strange. I never read any of the comic books. I knew nothing about the character. So I never watched this movie right whenever it came out. But I went back and watched it because I felt like there's hidden parts in it that need to be accounted for for our Marvel MCU. So you get all of the points and you get to know more about characters and why things in the Marvel MCU are a certain way and in Doctor Strange they have the time stone so I want to basically tie everything together before I went and watched Infinity War so I went and watched Doctor Strange honestly I felt the actor they chose to play him is a great choice I felt like he did an amazing job um, I think the story was amazing at first it's hard to follow because all of the time travel and the things that happened uh, with the time shifts and the back and forth starts to get hard to follow. But honestly, I felt like it was a great movie and you get to see what Doctor Strange can really do whenever he finally learns all of his powers. So movie was great. I'm going to give it eight out of ten. Uh, next up is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. As I've mentioned in the previous video, ranking volume, uh, sorry, ranking phase two movies. Um, I'm a huge fan of Guardians of the Galaxy. I felt like this was a great movie. The actors in it are amazing. We have Chris Pratt, who's one of my favorite actors. We have Dave Bautista, who's another one of my favorite actors. So the cast is amazing. The story is amazing. I love the action of Guardians of the Galaxy. And everybody basically works together. And everybody fits their roles perfectly. The story for Volume 2 is awesome because you get to see who the father of Chris Pratt, uh, sorry, Star-Lord, um, is and you get to see more development of that which is awesome and how he has to take down his father because his father is turns out to be evil and he tries to destroy planets and not um, create them like he originally thought so it was awesome there's a lot going on it is tricky at times to follow but it's an amazing story I'm going to rank it 7.5 out of 10 uh, next up is Spider-Man Homecoming. This is the first solo movie for Spider-Man in the MCU. He did make an appearance in Civil War, but this is the first movie we get to see for him. Um, I've always felt like the actor they chose to play Spider-Man is a great choice. I think Holland is awesome. However, for his character, at times, it's a little bit unmature. Um, he does have childish scenes at times, and I feel like they could make his character a little bit more mature and take things a little bit more seriously when it came to doing whatever needs to be done. Um, with that being said, I felt like it was a great movie regardless because the action was on point. You get to see Spider-Man and you get to see what he's capable of. Uh, the story follows basically this contractor who at the end of the 
last Avengers movie with all the destruction in New York City. He's a contractor that is cleaning up with his crew. And whenever he's cleaning up everything that happened and everything that got destroyed, the government basically came in and said he's off the job. It's their job now. And they ran into hard times and it was hard for them to find work. So they basically had one of the pieces of the alien ship uh, that was their weapon, weapon, and they started to develop weapons and become criminals, which I thought was an amazing story. And it turns out Spider-Man's homecoming date, her father is the villain. So everything tied together in the end. I thought it was amazing. The movie was awesome. I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. Next up is Thor Ragnarok. I've never been able to pronounce it. I'm just going to move on. Um, like I've mentioned before in ranking these videos, I've never really been a fan of Thor, but at this point, this movie was coming out. I'm really on board with Thor. I'm a huge fan of him. I think his character, I think the actor they, cho they chose for his character was awesome. Everything about him is awesome. The sense of humor in the movies is great. And this one here, it includes the uh, Incredible Hulk, which I honestly was not expecting whenever I was looking into it. And honestly, his role was awesome. Basically, he got launched into space. He ran into this planet. And this planet, he is their top fighter right now. So I think that's awesome. With Thor, Incredible Hulk, they basically have to face each other until Thor can get Incredible Hulk on the right mindset to basically come back to Earth and help them. The movie was great, the story was awesome, the action is intense. I'm gonna give it 8.5 out of 10. Uh, next up is Black Panther, which this is the solo movie for him. Again, he did make an appearance in Captain America's Civil War, which was awesome. You got a little bit of a backstory for him in Civil War, but in Black Panther, the solo movie, you get to see Wakanda for the first time. You get to see more in depth of not only his character, some of the other characters that are in the Wakanda uh, area. And you get to see everything about Black Panther, why he is the Black Panther. You get to see his powers more in depth. You get to see everything. And he gets to fight to become the Black Panther because somebody challenges him to it. So everything about it was awesome. I thought it was an amazing movie. And it's definitely a great addition to Marvel MCU. I'm going to rank it 8.5 out of 10. Next up is The Avengers Infinity War, which was a great movie. It was long. It was close to three hours. But the reason I loved it is because it brought everybody in the Marvel MCU together to help fight together to try to take down Thanos, which they were not successful. But still, it was a great movie. The action was intense. The fact that the fight got brought to Wakanda, which I thought was awesome. Everybody tried to work together. The fight scenes were incredible, but at the end of the day, Thanos did manage to do the snap and wipe out half the population. The movie itself was amazing. I feel like things could have been done a little bit differently, but the movie itself was awesome. I'm going to rank it high. I'm going to rank it 9 out of 10. Next up is Ant-Man and the Wasp. This, I think, continues after the events of Captain America's Civil War because in Civil War, Ant-Man grew to be the 60 foot tall Ant-Man version, which somehow was against the German government, um, how they wanted things for the Avengers to go. I can't really remember the details. So he is forced to go back to the US and he's under house arrest, which he's fine with because he gets to spend time with his child more, which was awesome to see. But he ends up getting pulled away, which was very interesting for story because they basically had an ant with his ankle bracelet on, pretending that he's still at home, which I thought was amazing. It was hilarious. The fight scenes are awesome. The fact that they got the quantum theory to actually work and to go back and save uh, Pim, Pim's wife, I can't remember his name, um, bring her back. So everything about it was awesome. The story was amazing. The act, fact that they got the quantum realm to work, um, everything tied together. I never really followed the quantum theory or what realm or whatever it is to understand it more, but the movie was great. Eight out of 10 for me. Next up is Captain Marvel, which I recently watched. It was the last movie that I watched in the Marvel MCU to basically catch myself up to be able to do this video. Um, honestly, I felt like it was a great movie. The actor choice was amazing. The action is amazing. A lot of people hated it. I never really understood why. Um, I felt like it was a great movie. The action is awesome. Her powers are so advanced. She's blasting through buildings and spaceships, and I thought that was incredible. The fact that for the story, she finds out she is working for the wrong side because her memory got erased after the blast um, back on Earth. So 
basically she finds out that she's working for the wrong side and she starts working for the right side which i thought was a great twist um everything about captain marvel i felt was awesome the action was amazing and for nick fury we find out why he wears the eye patch and what happened it was basically the cat slash octopus creature that clawed his eye which caused him to have to wear the eye patch in the current mcu movies which i thought was incredible for that such a small detail for them to include as to why they give backstory for that they give backstory to a couple more characters for the agents of shields and captain marvel herself so i thought it was a great movie eight out of ten for me next up is avengers endgame which again was a long movie which a lot of people did not like i felt it was great i watched it in one hour timeline so whenever i had an hour free i went and watched one hour here one hour there uh, but honestly, the movie was great. I felt like everything tied together. The fact that we have the surviving um, cast, the surviving ser superheroes work together and try to figure out how they can revert time and bring everybody back from the snap that Thanos did was awesome. But I felt like they could have done things a little bit differently. I felt like if they're going to go through the effort to get the time stone back and go back in time to when the time stone was there, they could have done it in a way that reverted it back, reverted time back to before Thanos did the snap and save everybody at that point in time instead of bringing everybody back six years after the snap and everybody not having memory of the past six years because they were technically erased. Um, I thought that was very different, but they brought back most of the superheroes. Iron Man ended up dying, which was sad. Um, so did a couple other characters. Uh, a couple other characters did not get brought back from before the snap, so things were odd how it ended, but I felt like they could have done it differently. But if you remember correctly, Doctor Strange did mention out of the millions of outcomes that they could do, only one where everything worked out, and this is the one. Even though we lost Iron Man, Captain America, uh, and a couple others, this is the one that worked out in the best interest. So at the end of the day, it was a great movie. The action was intense. I'm going to give it 9 out of 10 because I loved this movie. And the last movie on this list, the last movie for Phase 3, is Spider-Man Far From Home. Again, I felt like this was an amazing movie. It follows Spider-Man where after the events of Endgame, where he got brought back and the rest of the population that got wiped out got brought back, he basically goes on a trip with his school and... I felt like that was interesting, and he doesn't want to be Spider-Man, but whenever he's away, he's forced to be Spider-Man. The suit got packed, Aunt May packed the suit for him, so he's forced to help out. We see Mysterio, which honestly, I don't understand how he got Nick Fury, how he was able to trick Nick Fury to trick Spider-Man, which Spider-Man makes a little bit more sense because he's very gullible, uh, but how he was able to trick everybody to pretend to be a good guy to get Spider-Man to give him the glasses for to control Tony Stark's um, huge weaponry. I thought that was crazy, but at the end of the day, Spider-Man was able to take down Mysterio once he found out Mysterio was in fact a bad guy. I thought that was crazy. I thought the story was awesome. It was really back and forth at a big point in the movie where he was a good guy, and then all of a sudden you find out he was actually a bad guy, and he was just doing this to get control of the weaponry. Everything about it was awesome. The fact that they were able to take him down at the end was crazy. Felt like it was a great movie. I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10. I absolutely loved it. So this is me ranking phase three. This is longer than the video I did for phase one and phase two because they did more movies in phase three and they introduced more characters like Doctor Strange, Spider-Man and Black Panther. And I felt like they did a great job with all of their movies. To see what happens with Phase 4 and to see what happens in the Marvel MCU moving forward, I'm really excited. Honestly, I really hope they do Fantastic Four, since they now have control over it, and X-Men and kind of bring that together in the MCU. I think that would be a great addition since the outcome of Endgame, some characters died and some characters are done with being heroes. I felt like that'd be a great touch, but I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Which for phase three was your favorite Marvel MCU movie? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.